Hello everyone, welcome to the kitchen table. Um, uh, we're going to do the new firmware uh, install today. I'm going to do it live, as they say, uh, just to give you an idea if you haven't done a firmware update before, what you can expect, or if you have maybe plugged your aircraft into the assistant before but haven't done the update, or maybe you've never even plugged it in, we're just going to run through it from from scratch. I'm going to do it in a deliciously uh, low-tech way because what would you expect from the kitchen table other than that? Um, uh, and I've got this monitor here and I'm going to take a picture of it. And the reason for that is that my uh, laptop runs Linux, Linux Mint, which is fantastic, but of course there isn't a native Linux DJI uh, assistant. So um, I have a very knackered old Dell laptop which just runs XP and I use it purely for um, uh, for doing work with the vision so i have um, stuck it on an old monitor and i'm going to do that because i don't have any screen capture stuff on it and anyway we're going to do it this way all right whether you like it or not so a couple of assumptions i'm assuming that um one you have downloaded the relevant driver for your system from the dji website and that you have um downloaded and uh, extracted the phantom 2 assistant 2.0 software which you can see yeah um i've got the vision uh, to one side uh, currently plugged into the um uh, usb port on the vision uh via a little cable that's now going to go into the uh, into the uh, uh, laptop um, and I've got the props off for safety. Um, and I've actually got the transmitter on because, well, there's two reasons for that. One, it's good RC practice to uh, transmitter on, aircraft on, aircraft off, transmitter off. Just means that it's ready to bind. And secondly, after a firmware update, I always like to just recalibrate the, um, the sticks on the controller. So um, by having that to hand, we can we can do all that. So uh, let's assume that we've done everything. You've read the manual. You've got your drivers sorted, and you're ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is power on the um, power on the aircraft. So here we go. Ah, the delightful tones. Okay. Um, and I heard a little bing bong in the background from the from Windows telling me that it's it's picked up something. So let's double click and launch the Vision 2 Assistant. And there we go, look, straight into the update. And now it's going to ask, because this is the first time I've done this, it's going to ask me to log in. So we'll have a little pause here and I'll put my details in and then we'll be right back. Hello again. So as you can see, as soon as I logged in, off we go. It's actually doing it for you. I haven't had to do anything or tell it to do anything yet. It's doing it all itself. Upgrade successful. Please power cycle. Okay. And that's done the main firmware. So as soon as you log in, it will do it for you if you're not up to date. So let's do a power cycle of the aircraft now. Okay. She's gone down. And let's power cycle up again and straight away again it will do it all automatically for you now it's doing the what they call the main controller which is actually confusing the, the, the flight controller inside the aircraft I know some people have got confused thinking it's the rem, the, the what, what they also call the remote controller more properly the transmitter it's not it's the actual flight brains uh, and there we are Download successful. Let's go to upgrade. Do you really want to upgrade? Do not power off. Propellers are suggested to disassemble. I have already done that. So yeah, this bit is the bit that you, you know, make sure that you don't accidentally lean over and switch it off for some bizarre reason. Let's go for it and see what happens. That's fine. Don't worry. It's not about to self-destruct. It's a good sign. Please power cycle. Let's do it. Oh, relief. Power up again. Okay, let's close that. 
close, wrong button, there we go, hey. All right, so here we go, main controller, latest version 2.0. Receiver, there were no updates. PC, P330CB, which is the, the main circuit board, latest version. And battery, no updates. Huzzah. So, let's have a look. Um, oh, as you can see, look, we've got the transmitter attached. So we can see what's going on there. And can you see there, look, there's a bit of a, that one, look. You see what I mean about having said I like to do a recalibration? So let's do that already. So, we need to do a calibration. And it is simple as just doing this. Clicking the start button and moving all the sticks of the transmitter around as far as they'll go to all their extremes. So let's do that now. Start, and then we're gonna go to the right, to the left, to the top. All the way around, all the way, a few times so it knows it's been to all the extremes. Let go. And then do finish. Please observe whether the cursors are da, 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 da. If not, please pass off your air off and recalibrate. Let's have a look. So look, can you see? I've still got an issue with the right hand stick here. And that should be sitting in the middle. All the others are lovely, but that one isn't. So let's do it one more time. And then if not, we'll do a power cycle. Yeah, look, see, it's not giving me full travel there. It doesn't want to do it. Finish. Okay, so that hasn't fixed. Let's do a power cycle. And up we go again. Aha! Now we're cooking with gas. So the power cycle has fixed that. So a happy bunny. Uh, about that, so look what's changed in here. So advanced, fail safe. I'm in NASA mode. Okay, don't don't ask about that. I'll do another video on that. I think battery, gimbal, limits. This is the new um, the new uh, limits. Maximum height thirteen hundred feet. Maximum radius five thousand feet. I'm not, I'm not going to go anywhere outside of those uh, or near those so I'm happy to accept those for now uh, tools in there no other issues now we know that we've got the latest so that my friends was it it was as straightforward as that and and hopefully yours will be too um, rubbish weather in fact this has been a big clap of thunder while I um, did that jump cut so I won't be flying it today uh, but people have reported that it's all well and good um, and when you finished obviously we can power down the aircraft and we can shut down. So there you go, that was how to upgrade the um, firmware on your uh, DJI Phantom 2 Vision. That was specifically looking at 2.0, but going forward, that is exactly how the process would operate for any new firmware. They will always release a new version of the assistant software, which also carries the same version number as the uh, as the software that you're updating inside the, um, the NASA controller, the flight controller of the, of the aircraft. I hope you found that useful, um, including if you come across a bit of a calibration error, uh, what to do about it. Uh, that was live, so how exciting. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, back at the kitchen table soon. Bye-bye now.